Hey everyone, it's me Haven. I am back to film a pretty short uh, little video. I just, I had mentioned in my last video, my um, recent sales haul, that I was waiting on two dresses from Eloquii and they came. And unfortunately, this is going to be a clothing haul fail <laughs> video. I haven't done one of those in a long time. But I wanted to send them back. Today's Sunday. Um, but I wanted to send them back tomorrow. So I'm getting ready to go out and do some errands. And uh, my husband, which my husband, his name's Andrew, by the way. I always feel silly saying my husband, my husband, my husband, Andrew. Um, he had um, a class to go to today. So um, I am going to just have a, a solo Sunday, which is rare. I We're always, Sundays are usually our days to kind of like, we go have brunch and um, just hang out and do stuff like that. But uh, today's going to be kind of fun. I'm going to try to get some Christmas shopping done. <sighs> I usually try to do my shopping online, but I do need to go to Target, which is going to be probably insanity, and I need to get groceries, and I might go see Hunger Games. I love going to the movies by myself. I always enjoyed doing that um, because you don't talk anyways, so, <laughs> but anyways, uh, and I have to go to the mall. I have to, let me start off by saying actually something that I showed in my last video of the recent sale haul turned out to be a fail. That's still my work email. I'm sorry. I don't close it because it just takes forever to reopen it, so sorry about the dings, um, but um, uh, the recent... Okay, so I showed two pair of Lane Bryant boots in my last haul, and the pair that I'm actually going to try to take back, and the reason I say try is because after I filmed that video, I wanted to get everything put up, and and I thought I was going to keep the boots. The boots I'm taking back are, I showed two black pair of boots. The first one were more over the knee and they were like a faux suede. And I said I kind of didn't like the material in the back. I mean, I did not like it. It was just weird. The other pair, they were called the um, tall stacked heel dress boot. And they were black. And I said that I really didn't care for the sole looked just, just like rubber. Just that old school kind of browny rubber color. And I didn't care for that. And... Um, I said that they were so wide at the top, and I didn't care for that. Um, but I still like them enough to keep them. However, I put them on. I was going to wear them that day. And so I put them on after I filmed the video, and they were so uncomfortable. I mean, I had tried them on. When I picked them up in the store, I tried them on. But, you know, I was basically just standing in front of the dressing room mirror looking, and I liked them. But the part that I was, the funny thing is, the part that I was commenting on in the video, kind of like, so your foot goes here, and then it kind of curves up, like, around your foot and ankle. And I was like, I knocked on it, and I said, it's hard, which is nice, because you won't get the sagging around your ankle, which I don't mind if boots um, kind of scrunch up a little or bunch up a little, but I really don't like that around the ankles. I just think it makes your ankles look huge. Um, or my ankles look huge. <laughs> so... That's the part that I liked. However, in reality, I, maybe it's just my foot. That's the part that was killing me. So um, I couldn't even, I, I don't know, that hard part when you walk and my foot, they weren't too big for my feet, but my foot still slid a little. And then that part would hit my ankle. And I mean, it was almost unbearable. Uh, but I, I, I hope that they'll let me at least, if they don't want to like refund me, I'm hoping they'll at least give me store credit because... There is a, um, they don't have any, like, casual black boots that I like. Those were the only ones that I thought maybe would be casual. Um, but I do need some brown, flat, like, riding boots. The ones I have are from, like, three, two, two, maybe, okay, two years ago from Forever 21. And they're comfortable, and I like them. You know, they're certainly not leather, but they've held up well. But we went to the Christmas, a Christmas parade on Friday night, and we always go in front of this, like, Irish pub, and so you can watch the parade, and you can have wine or, you know, beer, or whatever you wanted. And um, so when I, anyways, after the parade, I went in to settle our, our tab, and some lady spilled a glass of red wine all over me, and it went on the boots, and it stained them. So that's hopefully if they give me a store credit, that's what I can use it for. If not, I really don't know what I'm going to do with those boots because they just, they hurt. 
Um, anyways, so if I get another pair, I'll let you guys know what happens because I still have, sounds like I have a lot of boots, but I don't. These, um, like I said, I'm still wearing the flat riding boots from like at least two and a half years ago or two years ago from Forever 21, which you know, those are cheap. And then the boots I'm wearing now, they're like the over the knee real leather burgundy maroon color. I got those last year from Lane Bryant. They're the only pair of boots I got and I've worn them to death. I love them. Um, and so this year, you know, like I said, I wanted a black pair of casual and dressy boots. And then when I saw those patchwork boots, they're so 70s, I had to have them. So anyways, it sounds like I keep saying boot, 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 but really it's not that many. But I will show you the patchwork boots when they come in and I hope that I like those because they're so pretty. And I already have like so many outfits and I'm like, well, I don't want to wear this. I want to wait for those boots. So I hope they work out. But let me just hurry up and sorry, I guess I've had a lot of caffeine this morning. Let me show you the two Eloquy dresses that I'm going to send back. Um, I got both of them in a size 18. Um... They're both, because I don't like things, um, normally, you know, like I said in my couple of videos ago, I am, my weight is up, um, my weight probably now, because I have managed to lose a few pounds, uh, so, well, managed, it's not like it's that hard if you really just, you know, if I just apply myself, it's not that hard, but I have lost, you know, around five pounds, so I'm probably still up. I still would like to lose, well, I would like to lose another 15 pounds, but even if I just lose like another seven or eight, I feel so much better. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> well, my weight, my weight's up a little bit right now. And so normally I'm a 14 top in Eloquy and I'm a 16 bottom. And then for dresses, cause a lot of their dresses are, you know, like close to the body fit or they're body conscious. So I would just go ahead and get a 16, but right now I'm doing, I'm still doing a 14 top, even though I don't get a lot of tops from them. Everything is peplum. Every, like, I feel like everything is peplum. Um, but the dresses, I just go up to an 18. And it, and it's not, you know, I could wear a 16, but I just do not like, I am not one of those like skin tight, peel a dress off of you type of girl. And um, yeah, but it's too, the dresses are too big on top because because of the 18. But anyways, okay, Rambly, the first one I got was this, um, did I bring my receipt out here? I didn't. This one's called the Black and White Color Contrast Dress, I believe. And it's, it's that uh, one, one woman, there was one review, and the woman said, um, she said that she didn't like the material. It was a weird material, but I don't think so. It's, it's scuba. It's that scuba material that Eloquy seems to use for everything. Um, which I don't have a problem with. Um, and I like it. It's not too shiny or anything. But the white and the black is like their scuba. I would say maybe this feels like a scuba knit. Which I personally prefer over the shiny scuba. But maybe that this that reviewer, maybe she wanted like the full, um, the full scuba. I don't know. But anyways, it's... I just loved this dress when I saw it. It looks so like Italian, Italian mod, like from the 60s or something. What was that director's name? Fellini or something, some, something like that, like La Dolce Vita or just something, you know, I just got that vibe from it, just like with just some sandals, like some sandal heels and um, big, huge oversized black sunglasses. I just thought, you know, and like big hair, you know, I just thought that this would just be the most gorgeous dress I, the main reason I don't like it is because of these are faux pockets right here. However, they're not totally sewn on. And they just kind of hit me weird. It's just two white strips, you know. It just really draws the eye in. And I just, it, I don't like that. It just bugs me. And then the other thing is the sleeves. I do love the white stripe going down the sleeve. However, the sleeves are big. And I know that every plus size girl, I know that arms, you know, we we carry weight in our arms, and I know that that can really be challenging with clothes sometimes. Um, but the, the, these arms are big where they shouldn't be. They're big at the bottom. Um, so you can see you can see how wide it is here at the top. It's plenty. It's a good amount of room. 
but then look how wide it still is at the at the bottom so it's like a bracelet sleeve almost I don't know and I, I just think for the sleek look of this dress it should be I don't know and I'm not gonna I don't like the dress enough or I don't have enough of an occasion to wear the dress to pay for the um tailoring so that dress is gonna go back I it was 50% off so and I, I had looked at the ta the packing slip, so I paid $55.45 for it. So the dress must be around $110. But it is a pretty dress. I mean, you know, just it didn't work for me. And then the other dress that I ordered, I really loved this dress. I had no idea where I was gonna wear it. Um, but I just it just seemed so flamboyant and different. I really liked it. It is the um flounced sleeve dress and they had this in a red and a green I got the black and it is just it's I don't know the dress feels very shapeless shapeless to me <laughs> um but it's just there's not a lot of darting there's just like two darts right here by the bust and then nothing else so when I put it on it felt a little bit like a sack um and it's that same scuba material the it's just a you know a high neck which I don't really have a problem with um, it's not like a polo neck, but it's just like a high neck. I know that they were trying to keep it simple for the, the focal point being the sleeves. And then also in the back, there is this lace panel, which I like because it doesn't go down too low. So I like to wear um, my shapewear of choice are Spanx. And I like the higher power briefs. I get them from Lane Bryant. And I just pull them, you know, they go right up under your bra. But um, sometimes if things have like sheer lace panels that go down too low, I, you know, not only does the bra show, but, you know, I certainly don't want, like, my shapewear, shapewear to show. That's, no, but that's not, this is not too low. The problem that I have with this dress is, even with it, I just feel like I, a 16 would just be too tight on me, or I would fit, but I just wouldn't feel comfortable, um, and the sleeves. The sleeves are my favorite part. Um, the flounce portion does feel to be a stiffer scuba than the rest of the dress, and it's lined with white. And I believe, I believe the red and green are lined with white too, but I don't know. The problem is the sleeves are a good two inches too long, so I would have to have a tailor come here, take the flounce off, or however she would do it. I'm assuming she'd have to take the flounce off, shorten the sleeve a good couple of inches, and then put the flounce back on, and I know the, and I've tried different tailors in this town and they're all pretty competitive. They're pretty priced around the same. Um, but I know that would at least be, you know, at least $20 because a lot of them charge 18 to hem, which is crazy, right? $18 to hem something. Um, but I don't sew, so I don't know how much work goes into it. I'm sure that it's worth it for, you know, what I'm trying to say is I'm sure that they're being fair. Um, I like the lady that I go to, and there, I used to go to another lady, and I liked her too. But um, that's another 20 bucks, and this dress I paid with my discount $50, 50%. So it's $100 regularly. But even with it being $50, if I go spend another 20 which would probably be the lowest end for the sleeve alterations, that's now I'm in the dress for 70 bucks, And... I don't even know where I'm going to wear it now. I was thinking maybe New Year's Eve or something, but um, I, and you know what? I have long, I have long arms. You know, they say, um, and it's true, you know, pretty, that movie Pretty Woman, Julie Roberts, she's telling Richard Gere that, you know, your foot is the same length from your, your wrist to your elbow. And that's true. If I put my foot up there and I'm a size 10, so like I have a, I have a long, I have long arms, especially for my height. I'm five four, um, and they're still the sleeves are so long. I don't know, but I know that there's lots of girls. I see lots of reviews and the, for girls that are tall, and they have trouble finding things. And I just, I, I think I wish that stores would charge. You know, like they would have like a lot of places with jeans. They'll do you know different inseams or tall or petite or whatever. I wish they would do that with clothes too. I mean. I would pay the same price as the tall price it just to have something that fit better. I mean, I don't understand how it could be that much trouble for a company, but whatever. I'm totally rambling. But anyways, um, 
Those are going back. So those are my fails, but they're both very pretty. They're very pretty. And so I would recommend, I like Eloquii. They have good, they have a decent return policy. I don't think anywhere is as good as ASOS, um, but Eloquii is fine. I've never had trouble returning anything to them. And so if you, if you liked both of them and even after, you know, like if I hope that helped kind of just pointing out different things about it, but um, if so, I would recommend getting them if, if, if you, they fit right for you. But, um, and then the boots, I just, I don't recommend those boots that I'm taking back at all. I just think they're, I don't recommend them. Um, but I'll show you the patch boots, patchwork boots when they come in. And then if I do end up getting a store credit for the boots I'm taking back, I'm going to try to take back. I'm going to get some brown riding boots and I'll of course show those. So I hope that you guys have a great Sunday. Um, I'm going to, I guess I'll upload this today, but if not, whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a really great day. Um, I hope you're having a fun Christmas season. You guys can see my tree. I'm in my living room. I love this room. Um, but um, I guess I will see you maybe next week when my boots come in. Take care. Bye.